Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today, we've got quite an interesting question. We've got similarity and then we need to try and figure out the length of one of the sides. So they've said to us, triangle DEF is similar to triangle KLM. And they've said to us that DE is 2.5 centimeters, EF is 7 centimeters and KL is 5 centimeters. And they've asked us to calculate LM. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this out again, just a little bit bigger so that I'm able to work with it. So they've said to us triangle DEF is similar to triangle KLM. And now it's all about the ratios, guys, working with these ratios. And what we have been given is we've been given DE. So let's make a note of that. So we've been given DE. So we'll draw a little line on top of DE. And we've been given EF, so let's draw a little line on top of EF, or just below EF. And we have been given KL, so let's draw a line on top of KL. And now they've asked us to calculate the length of LM, and that works rather nicely. Alright, so guys, let's see. So we can see that the way this is written, DE over KL, is going to give us the same ratio as EF over LM. Why? Because they've told us that the two triangles are similar. Okay, so we're going to use DE over KL and then we're going to use EF over LM. So let's do that. So we can say DE over KL must be equal to EF over LM. Okay, and that's because the two triangles are similar. Now we can plug in all of the values. So we know that DE is 2 comma 5. We know that KL is 5. We know that EF is 7. And then LM is the one that we are searching for. All right, so just for the sake of space, I'm going to continue up over here. But guys, what we need to do now is we need to multiply the denominator and numerator across, okay, across the equal sign. So what would that leave us with? On the left hand side, I'm going to multiply 2.5 and LM, and that's going to give me 2,5 LM. And that is going to equal the 7 times 5. That's going to give me 35. Now in order to get the LM by itself, because remember we're trying to calculate the length of LM, we're going to divide both sides by 2,5. And that we can plug in on our calculator. The 2.5s cancel out. And we're left with 35 divided by 2,5, which is going to give us 14. So that would mean LM is equal to 14 centimeters. And that gives us our final answer. Right, so I could have written all of that stuff up here. So the answer is going to be LM is equal to 14 centimeters. And that gives us the right answer. This over here, this reason, proportional sides of similar triangles refers to the fact that we assumed the proportion of the um, corresponding sides are the same because they have already said to us that the triangles are similar. I really hope this helped you out, guys. These similar triangles can be quite confusing, but once you understand this part over here, you are never going to get it wrong. That is probably the most important part and probably the trickiest part um, is always the start. Once you've got that, it's a case of simply using some of your basic algebraic equation rules. That's all from me, guys. Very special thank you to our sponsor. Remember, check out our website for more of these epic video tutorials. If we haven't got an answer to your question yet, remember you can send us the question and we will reply with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, guys, stay epic.